Hello, this is Michaela, or Studious Octopus, and I'm here today doing the October 2016 UK Glossy Box Catch Up, Catch Up, where I talk about what I thought about all of the products after the fact, now that I've had a good few weeks to actually give them a go. This was the Estee Lalonde edit. We had four full-sized items, one deluxe sample and one mystery item, is that right? Yeah, that's right. So I'm just going to go through the product card again and talk about each item since I've now used it for a bit. And the first one was our new beauty shampoo, judge the results for yourself. As a lot of people suspected pretty much immediately, it's head and shoulders. It's got a very head and shoulders consistently, consistency certainly. And yeah, it's part of their new marketing for the have a new formula head and shoulders, which I think is a good thing because having had a go of it, it doesn't smell anywhere near as much as head and shoulders used to smell. It had quite a, a strong, distinct, not particularly feminine smell. So I'm assuming they're trying to make it a bit more approachable. Personally still though, it's not going to be a shampoo for me. It's not that it's absolutely terrible. I just, I don't think it's particularly suited to my hair and my hair doesn't need it. So I haven't actually used the whole thing. I've only used half up by washing my hair on two separate occasions because I did want to give it a go still, but it's just not suitable for my actually really, 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 really aggressively fine hair. It, it just made it um, feel really flat and limp, which some shampoos just do. So it's just not suitable for me. But there we go, mystery shampoo. What was next? This was that we had the Trifle Cosmetics, which I didn't mention last time, is just another offshoot of So Susan, the same way that uh, Jelly Pong Pong is as well. So they have lots of little sort of smaller lines. I think this is really nice. I know a couple of people have said it's quite pale in a very like unwearable kind of way, but I actually quite like that. It's a very, very neutral pale color. I'm wearing it now. It's not peachy or pinky or reddy. It's actually just a very, very neutral nude. So you can either wear it on its own, which I'm doing, which I actually don't think looks that bad on me because not all nudes suit me. It actually looks about right on me. But what I also think this means is it does make it a really, really good base for layering, as they say, because it's such a neutral nude. So I actually still really, really like this. And I still think the packaging is super, super cute. And I'll probably end up using all of this up. I also think in a way, it. It is kind of nice in a, it's more interesting than all the shades of pinks and reds that we usually get because those are very, very safe. So that's sort of the problem with them going a bit less safe is then some people are just not going to like it. But yeah, I quite liked it. Next up, we had the deluxe sample of the NUX Shimmering Dry Oil. And this is supposed to be multi-purpose all over face, body, hair, oil. Again, my hair couldn't really take this oil. It made it look really, really greasy and flat really quickly. But that's just a my hair type thing. That's nothing wrong with this oil. I have been using it on my arms and my chest and so on and so on. And it's super nice. I quite like its fragrance. It's got quite a strong, distinct fragrance, but I'm not even sure what I would describe it as. It's just quite nice and it's kind of unusual. And yes, I do still like the glimmer. I've got it on today, but I think you can see it that much. It's a very, very adult glimmer. So it's like you don't, you don't feel silly wearing it, which I really like. It's actually quite nice. So yeah, and still also quite cute packaging. What was next? It was the Universal Beauty Cosmetics, the Secret Flush. And again, super, super cute, nice little packaging of all of them. Mm, I say that, I was gonna say this might be a little overpriced for what it is, but this is also a 12 pound and they're both quite small. They're very, very cutesy and they're in very, very pretty packaging, but you could get something similar for much, much more affordable. But if you're into things that are super cute and these feel very travel makeup kit friendly, you could take 
you know, these two and a small eyeliner and a small like sample mascara and you'd be pretty good to go. Like that, that, there's something to be said for that as well. But yeah, like the lipstick, like the oil, I really, really like this. This is very, very wearable. Just a nice light reddish pink. It's super nice, applies very well. It is a cream formula, so you have to be careful with what other things you're you're putting it on with. Like if you powder your face first and then try and put it on top of it, that doesn't particularly work. You have to be careful sort of the order that you're doing things in. But it's also very, very wearable just on its own. Pop a little on your cheeks when you're not wearing any other makeup, which is nice. There we go. What is next? It's the Be Good thing, the Be Good Facial Exfoliator. And I think I mentioned last time, we've had Be Good before. It's really, really nice stuff. It has this super nice, creamy, very moisturizing feeling sort of base. And then you have all the little, little particles of lavender in it that are uh, exfoliating your skin. Really lovely, feels really good, smells really good. I really like the Be Good line. Uh, the only thing that was, it's, I think they might say it on here. They might not even say it on here. The impression I get is that this isn't a daily face wash. It's a, you'd use it as your once a week exfoliator, but that's not like something it specifically says. I haven't been using it every day because I don't need an exfoliator every day, but there we go. Super nice. Uh, and then last up, we did have the PS Pro, I got the liner, PS Pro liner, Miracle Pencil in the very, very pale nude colour. And honestly, it's been perfectly fine. I think I've mostly been using it as the brightening eye point, as it says in my waterline, because I don't particularly use these types of pencils for anything else. I'm not actually particularly into putting liner on or anything like that. And I suspect for my skin type, this would be the wrong consistency to use as a concealer because it actually says you can use it as a concealer. Um, but yeah, it's a super, super cheap, affordable nudie pencil. It was fine. I know some people have said that they've got different products and they really, really weren't as nice which may well be the case, to be honest, because lots of um, lines have Duff products or products that just aren't suitable for everyone and stuff like that. But uh, the liner, the liner is absolutely perfectly serviceable, super affordable nude liner. There we go. So overall, I would say I actually really, really like the box. My top favorite items are still absolutely the facial exfoliator because it's so lovely and the two super cute and super portable little makeup items, the lippy and the blush. I actually really, really love this set. The other things I'm sort of less fussed about, it's like the shampoo. I'm not gonna go on and go out and buy head and shoulders shampoo. It's just not a shampoo that's for me. I'm not that fussed. Same as in a lot of ways, I'm not, like, it's more that I'm saying the other things in the box were my favorite than that these were awful. It's pencil, it's some dry oil. I really, really like these and these really, really made the, the box worthwhile for me. So there we go. This was the, was it the November box? Was it the October box? You know, I might've said this was the November box in the intro box and maybe. Uh, <laughs> so this was the October 2016 UK Glossy Box. I really, really liked it. The next box we should be getting is the November Glossy Box, uh, which I'm looking forward to. We still have only had, I think, the one sneak peek, which is for the Debrouille Jumbo Eye Pencil, which I'm a little wary about because those style of cream eyeshadow eye pencils, I think that's what it is. I've tried a couple of those before. They're not super suitable for my eyelids because they're very, very slightly hooded and just a little bit oily. So that type of cream eyeshadow just kind of rubs off on me, to be honest. But there are other things you can use them for or you can use them to do sort of a small area that isn't gonna get wiped away by your um, eyelid. So we'll have to see. 
and even then it'll only be one product out of the whole box. So this is the October box. Really happy with it. And I'll see you again next time, which will be for the November box. Hello, this is Michaela of Studious Octopus, and I'm here doing my empties for... I have control. <laughs> Why are they so cute? Okay, so we've got Swap. Come back down.